Hey, we already said how the motivation was important. Let's today go further. In five steps, we will see what are the good questions you need to ask you to check and maintain your motivation. First of all, ask yourself why are you learning a language? If you use it at school or at work, you need to totally agree with it. It's necessary to want to do it, just want to do it and delight this learning. To be more precise and simple, it needs to be your own choice. Of course, it might be for professional perspectives but be sure you identify them well. For example, some studies have proved that polyglots are higher paid 20% more than people who only speak their native language. If you are an entrepreneur, you can explore new markets and offer you expertise in where sometimes you won't have any competitors. The problem is, if it isn't your choice, if you do it because you think it's necessary but you haven't a really good feeling fatally, you won't give the best level, your best level of performance. Encourage frustration and you will just struggle to get down to work. So, do a review of interesting things you can find in the country where the language is spoken. Are you attracted by speakers or places? Do you have a strong interest in a patient renowned there? For example, you are interested in music, tradition, landscapes, you love cooking, you want to be able to watch interviews of a French head chef be able to read cooking literature, it helps. It's pure motivation. Another thing you have to do in all cases is creating links. Do you already know people who speak this language? Maybe you are motivated by your partner who is native from this language. And maybe you want to expand your network, enrich your social life, these are strong levels, very good for inertia. Just find people to speak with. You don't know some speakers? You are too shy? Relax. As you know, with internet you can easily write and create links with people from half a world away. And with these people who are specifically here to exchange with foreigners about any subject. The best ground to practice is on internet. I especially recommend you to visit the website Students of the World. Pretty basic design, but interesting network. You just need to write a small ad to explain your project, describe your passion, the language you are learning, and all the persons will contact you. Like this, you will see how engagement is important. Find correspondence. Tell to your friend you are learning a new language. These are implicit supports. Of course, you will practice with them. But furthermore, for self-esteem reasons, you will hardly give up. Now, what's your experience with the people you met from this country? We can also include characters from books, films or YouTube channels. Would you speak with them? Would you have a dinner with them? If the answer is yes, you are on the good tracks because it's going to be possible to do it soon. But, sorry, an important one. Are you afraid by learning because it's too hard or too much time? How do you think people who speak many languages can do? I mean people who speak four, five, six languages and sometimes more than ten. Do they have a recipe? Of course they have. But do you really think it's because they found the best books? No. The tips concern methodology. Do you remember the three videos I uploaded about working your memory? 
By this kind of tricks, you can memorize faster even if you are starting to learn. But a good methodology is a little bit more. And unfortunately, most of the time you don't find it in the learning books. In a next video, we will see it in details. But keep in mind, a good methodology runs through time organization. Tricks to learn faster. Motivation, as we already said. And emotional stability. By this I mean you need to be confident. You don't need to be afraid. You need to be sure of what you are doing. Okay, today I can say if you spend 20 minutes per day only dedicated to learning the language you are interested in, you will progress faster than you believe. I read several articles about how much words it was necessary to know to speak fluently. 3000. Specialists used to say with 3000 words you are able to follow 80% of the conversation. Put you in the good atmosphere, only dedicated to it, learning the foreign language you are interested in. You need to feel to be in the good atmosphere. Like, okay, I will learn my French. I think about all the things I'm interested in. I try to imagine me in the context. I need to stimulate my desire. Free months. Retain it. This is enough to expect being fluent. In three months, 3000 words, it's 34 words a day. But if you want to be independent, one or two thousand trusted, it's enough to be independent, to travel, to have basic conversations, to answer to all your needs. Overall, don't think you will make mistakes. Everybody does. It's not important. You are a learner. Nobody is recording you. Just feel free to experiment. The only one mistake you can do is keeping quiet. Practice as much as you can. Reconsider all the difficulties as smart challenges. 34 words per day. Prove to you you are able to do it. Ask you how you can do it faster. Connect it with the conversation you are having with your correspondent. Learning a language is good for health. It brings advantages like learning fast. All your apprenticeships will find benefits if you learn a foreign language. You can also expect to be more comfortable concerning public speech. It's proved. Finally, and this is the best approach you can find if you want to be sure you will succeed, find a teacher. Maybe you already tried to learn a language by yourself. You spent many time and a lot of money, but made an unpleasant constat. You weren't ready. You weren't really able to practice. Speakers were not understandable and you weren't comfortable to express yourself. Find the teacher you will meet at least every week. With him you will speak. Again about self-esteem reasons, you will do bigger efforts and easier. This is reassuring, ideal to preserve motivation. And cheaper than what you think. Having a such reference helps to earn time. With him, you will speak regularly, evolutively, and the teacher is here concerning clarifications and questions you will have, of course. But the efficiency is much more regarding the work you will accomplish. Your motivation and your evolution won't be the same with a teacher. You have to look to a teacher who is above all a coach. Have a nice day.